Okay, so for washing brushes, here I have two brushes that I was just using. Uh, this is my um, cleaning tank, although it looks disgustingly dirty. I do, I should probably change this oil sometime soon, but it'll still function the way I need it to. Um, so I'll take each brush and I'll run it along the coil that's in here. And I will squeeze it out in a paper towel to get as much pigment out of the actual brush as I can. Same thing with this one. As I'm not like super um, pressing really hard or scrubbing, I'm just running it along the coil. You can kind of see that it uh, releases a lot of the paint particles. Uh, and I'm just trying to, again, blot out as much oil as I can just to get this ready for soap and water. And here I am at the sink. So this is where um, I've gotten as much paint particles out of these brushes as possible. Then what I will do is, um, this is Fells Naphtha uh, laundry soap. Um, but there's also, uh, you could also use dish soap or there's also the master's. Um, cleaning soap, but I usually uh, get the get the soap a little wet, create some suds in in the brush. I'm not scrubbing really hard again. So once I have a bunch of soap in my brush, I kind of just um, play around with getting the hairs a little bit separated. The goal is to make sure that, so this the soap suds are pretty white right now. If I was using, um, if I still had a lot of pigment in this brush, you'd see it be tinted a little bit. So I'm just making sure that I'm, um, I don't wanna really like stretch these bristles too far apart, um, but I just wanna make sure I'm getting the soap into the brush. And then I'll rinse clean. Uh, it's, it is important to make sure you get as much soap out of the brush as possible. Um, you don't want to just leave it in there and have it uh, gunk up the brush. Um, you'll kind of find the next day if your brush is a little like um, sticky, it could be that you left too much soap in here. So just make sure to rinse this really well. And then um, at the and then what I try to do is get as much water out of there as possible and just make sure the brush is kind of reformed to the shape that it needs to be. So I'll do that with this brush too. This is a stiffer brush, so it's going to be easier to get a little bit of suds going. And then I'll want to make sure, so you can kind of see the suds here are a little bit uh, grimier looking. That's because I was using this with some dark pigments. So I kind of squeeze. You can kind of see that it's kind of a grayish color. I'll still use the soap to uh, play around and get, get in between those hairs, but I probably will do this brush one more time with soap just to ensure that all the oils out of here and all the pigment that's possible out here. You're really trying to make sure you don't get too much uh, paint inside those. Um, you can kind of see if I really pull them apart that I don't do a great job of that, but eventually what's going to happen is all the paint particles and then you can kind of see it happening here it's going to start pushing those hairs apart and your brush is going to lose some shape um, i use oil to clean my brushes a lot during painting and i think that that makes this happen more um, but it's my method of painting so so again i'm using that soap to really get in there and get clean so my soap is a lot less dirty this time around. So again, I'm trying to make sure I get as much soap out of there as possible. This is the uh, worst part of painting. This is the most unenjoyable part of painting. Um, but after a, a really good day of painting, I don't mind this. After a really bad day of painting, this makes it even worse. So again, trying to get as much water out of there as, as possible. Um, try to have them reformed. Uh, if you have a, a paintbrush that has dried paint on it, 
Uh, what you can actually do is, um, let's pretend this had dried paint on it, or maybe you forgot to clean it the night before. Uh, what you can actually do is uh, get some soap on it. It's going to be really stiff, but get some soap on it uh, and, and just have the soap cover the brush as much as possible. Um, try to massage it in there and then leave this overnight or for a couple days. And if you come back and wash it, you're going to find that the the hairs are much more pliable and actually some paint might be coming out of it. And I would, again, I would do that a couple times if it was really bad. So uh, sometimes you can salvage dried up brushes, but if there's a lot of paint gunked up into the ferrule, uh, it's time for a new brush. And again, make sure you get all the soap out of there that you can. We want to keep these brushes nice for as long as we can. So that's cleaning your brushes.